Hello. I'm over here at the Telegraph. This is some big, rich, fancy pants guy named Mark Andreessen. And he's like a big time software engineer tech guru. And in this article, it sounds like to me he's talking about the development of the beast system. He says here, the problem is that manual measurements are very common in hospitals, pharmaceutical delivery chains, and even the distribution of dairy and meat produce. Someone actually goes to the warehouse to fill out a report with pen and paper every three hours. Right? And he says that's really time consuming and this and that. And he wants to fix that. And his big idea is to install cheap sensors that upload and analyze data to a cloud. Because he is a fierce believer in the impact of this wave of software-driven sensor startups, his core thesis is that over the next 20 years, every physical item will have a chip implanted in it. The end state is fairly obvious. Every light, every doorknob will be connected to the Internet just like with the web itself. And I believe that. I think people will be implanted too. And these chips are going to come with a even worse frequency that we're on now and is going to totally turn them into zombies. But here's my question, because I do believe this is coming. And I do believe there are cameras, 24-hour surveillance, all that stuff. So, but that requires a power grid. So here's my question, because I do believe that there will be a seven-year tribulation, or at least a, a, a time period that's coming up soon that's going to be really crappy for a while. And we know that the government, it's, being, it's reported by the mainstream media that they're preparing for an EMP attack and people on YouTube and all these theories that we're going to be knocked back to the Stone Age. So here's my question. Do we go seven years Mad Max and then they turn the power back on because they have to have a power grid to have this sort of system? And then if that's the case, then how long does that go on for? So that's what I'm asking them, trying to figure it all out. So thanks for your help. Thanks for your input. Thanks to my subscribers for the support.